by in my like mid twenty, I was about I was twenty five. I was playing with baseball. I was with Seattle for about almost five years, um, and Seattle released me, and I was living in the attic. I mean, literally living in this attic. And after <laughs> eight, stop. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back. There. For some reason, um, I. I, I started to draw again. I'm from Los Angeles. Um, I mean, I'm an Angelino. I grew up 15 minutes outside of downtown. Uh, my grandfather was a uh, aerospace engineer. So I, I remember as a kid kind of being around certain things like equations, equations associated with drawing. Um, but that being said, I, uh, I started looking at architectural programs. The, the most difficult part about creativity is to be confident in it. Because what's interesting that when you're a kid and you're a child, creativity is easy, right? You just do it, you think it. That, that box is a, is a puppy dog. That milk carton is a fire truck and that's what it is. And no one's gonna even tell you otherwise. And if someone does try to tell you otherwise, you're not gonna believe them. But it was just foreign. It was foreign to me. It was as foreign as anything that I could do from what I was doing. And it was like, whoa, this is, th 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 this is what I need. on a wall. You did it as a kid. You put it on a leaf and you rub the paper to reveal this leaf. Maybe you look at one, oh, it's playful. Anyone can do it, I can do it. But you, you, you look at the whole and you understand there's a language. There's a language that's developing. And each time I'm, I'm trying to understand the language myself. It's like, I'm not going in there, just this is what it is. I kind of go in there, I don't really know what it's gonna be today. Let's figure it out. I mean, I think Los Angeles is in kind of like a renaissance, um, a resurgence, everyone's coming back to the city. I'm gonna work with Francesco Siqueiros of El Nepal Press. The guy's been producing work in downtown Los Angeles for 30 years. I mean, 30 years, this guy's a staple. At one point, it was a printing machine. I mean, these things, this, it, was, it was an industrial used machine. Y using, let's say, primitive, kind of playful techniques, but then to kind of also use a, mm, some of my contemporary understandings of computation, algorithms, scripting. It's interesting to be able to kind of use that as a technique to kind of flatten these things together into kind of a, mm, a single thing. Something that, as someone who's unfamiliar with fine arts theory, I don't, my mom can show up and she can look at it and just appreciate it for what it is. Doesn't need an explanation. Because at the end of the day, that's what, that's what good work does. Good work doesn't require an explanation. It's just there. And it is what it is. My name is uh, Mike Nesbitt, um, married to a, uh, a wonderful Los Angeles chef, Miss Amy Nesbitt. Not to be like dramatic, but I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die in this city. You know, you want to kind of like, you know, you go out like a Viking, like you know, on the Los Angeles River, because um, this is home. You know, we're here to stay, and we're we're here to produce work that's meaningful. I'm an optimist. Um, I think you have to be an optimist today to produce the type of work that, that, that I produce.
can't sit still. I mean, you can't sit aisled while people are making stuff. I mean, if I'm sitting here still, I'm gonna drive myself crazy. <laughs>